Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your May 2018 tarot reading. Generally, my readings are love readings, so you know I will get comments from people saying I'm not looking for love. All of my readings are labeled love readings. If you're not looking for love, then why are you watching it? I'm going to get one of these and one of these. If it turns out, you know, flips up while I'm shuffling, you'll get to see it now. Otherwise, we will show it at the end. What I'd like you to do is take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the month of May. It could resonate now. It's being recorded on April 18th. So anywhere from now until, you know, the end of May, even perhaps the beginning of June, because everybody is on different levels you know, and the timing is fluid on these readings, okay? So just take take it as it is, and if it resonates now, great. If it resonates in May, you know, if it doesn't resonate now, watch it in May because it's meant for May, okay? So this is for the sign of Pisces. Whoa! Okay. The world! Ha <laughs> ha! So you got the world in front of you. You could be, you know, with the world card says so, so, so much. I'm going to read it to you because, you know, basically you could be receiving communication from somebody from the internet. You may be doing online dating, you know, and that's working out for you. You may meet somebody online, but let me read this to you anyway. I can't ever remember these. Oh, bitch, I opened right up to it and was still looking. Expansion, opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so, so there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this card could specifically be referring to, to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card also lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces for the month of May 2018? You have the power to get whatever you want, to manifest whatever you want. Two plus nine is 11, 11 is a master number. 11 is the number of manifestation. It's about instant manifestation. So you have the power within you right now to get whatever you want. And it does make sense with what I read. The world is your oyster. You truly have the power this month, okay? It's in your hands. Your thoughts become things, remember that. That's if things want to go together. Not none of them went. <laughs> you you have to be willing. Okay, you have to be willing to come together with someone. Okay, you have to be open to it. Try this again. Still a struggle. <laughs> first time I've struggled with shuffling I've done all 12 signs okay so you know something there's a struggle struggle with coming together with people or someone there we go I concentrated that time P 
Pisces. What does Pisces need to know from May? Oh, two of cups reverse. There could be a split. There could be a breakup. There could be a separation. I mean, that's what the card needs. I can't change it. There's some disconnection here. There's disconnection between you and another person. And you're reluctant to see a new approach. You're reluctant to see something differently. Holding on. Holding on to your old ways. Holding on to too much. Something needs to be let go of. This is too heavy. There's no reason. There's no reason to hold on to whatever it is that you're holding on to. You know, I know that this is very conflicting and I feel like you guys, you may have blocked communication with someone or someone's blocked communication from you, but there's still a lot of looking, right? A lot of observation here. You know, this, this uh, page of swords signifies difficulty in communication. Somebody that's all talk and no action. So, hmm. Refusing, refusing to accept a change, holding on. Like I said, you're holding on to something that needs to be let go. And it is getting old. It's getting old. Refusing to see the new approach to start over. So someone is really stuck in their ways here. And it's causing a lot of conflicts, probably with a soulmate. It could have been a third party situation, but there's also a lot of unhappiness here. Somebody's not wanting to date or put this uh, themselves out there. They're not wanting to have fun or they're just unwilling to let go of something. Someone is totally un not able to let go, holding on to some sort of burden that is unnecessary. Yes, resisting. Why? Why, Pisces, are you resisting so badly? There's like a feeling, even though you're not an earth sign, stubborn, 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 stubborn. So stubborn. There's observation here. I think you know what's going on. You know what you want. That's what it looks like to me. But you're, there's a feeling of, no. Nope, I'm not going to give in. I am not going to share my true feelings. I am not going to acknowledge this I'm gonna I'm but I'm still holding on I'm reluctant to see the new approach transition reluctant to bring harmony back to a relationship or something like that there's love here there is love but somebody has a wandering eye okay and somebody doesn't want to apologize I will not apologize this is what this is blocking love this is blocking love somebody's trying to block their true love and I don't know why not feeling good enough not feeling their worth not enjoying life not feeling like or you know I just I think somebody is pretending that they want to be alone maybe they're pretending that they want to be alone or they're Letting their ego get in the way because this is a very egotistical card as well in the reverse. Somebody is not seeing the truth. Anyway, this nine of pentacles reversed is someone who is at a loss. Maybe you feel, and this is with this pentacles, and these pentacles, you may be feeling like you don't have enough. Right now you need to work on your finances. You know, you don't want to give your money to somebody. That could be, that could be causing some conflicts in a partnership. I don't know. Has something to do with money here. Um, I feel as though I don't want to share my assets. You know, I don't want to share my assets with anybody. So you may be not really allowing, putting yourself out there in some way. You're holding on to something no matter what. This, this four of pentacles is an obsession to anything that you're holding on to. I mean, there's an obsession you're holding on, holding on, reluctant to see a new approach in regards to a relationship. It's making you very unhappy, unable to reconcile, but there is true love. There's love here. That's really sad. 
Okay, so I feel as though um, somebody is blocking communication. There's no doubt about it, but you know they're they they're just resisting for some reason. A lot of stubbornness. A lot of stubbornness. And I feel like it has to do with some of this has to do with money. And the thing, wanting to prove yourself, this is, do you want to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? So it feels like there's some power struggles here. There's some conflicts here with, no, I need to prove that I'm right. I needed to teach you a lesson. <laughs> That's what this is. So, you know, this is somebody, this is a feeling of, this is somebody that is misjudging a situation, being treated unfairly. This is an unfair treatment. The King of Swords reverse is unfair treatment. This is kind of like a bully energy. A um, lot of competition. Like I said, conflicts. Look at the fives. There is a lot of conflicts here, and it's like this is a game. It's like this is a big, huge game, and there's competition. Why? Why? What are you competing with? Are you compete? What is the deal? This right here is unnecessary drama. Playing games. Refusing to start over. So afraid of being taken advantage of by another person. So maybe that's why you closed yourself off because you're so afraid of being taken advantage of. Maybe even financially. You know, I never get what I deserve, so why would I put myself out there for somebody who's just going to take advantage of me? That's what it looks like. So you're trying. So I feel like there's a love connection here that you are pretending that you don't want. And I'm sorry, and you guys, it won't, this will not resonate with everybody. Or there's a new love connection that could come in, but you don't want it because you have this fear of being taken advantage of. Maybe you're just focusing on your finances. You're just working on your own financial stability and abundance and security. And it looks like you are having a, you're probably being offered a new beginning, a new security. Like you, So I believe that you guys could have an offer of love or there's love around you. But I think you're choosing not to let it in because you don't want to be taken advantage of. Like I said, I believe that right now a financial success is at the top of the list. And that you're still trying to prove yourself to prove your point, prove your right, perhaps to a partner or to a love interest. I don't know. Yeah, it feels like somebody is emotionally unavailable. It's like one of their dreams has died. And we have some extremes here. Things are out of balance. There's a lack of harmony. And then we have, you know, I think at one moment you want somebody and the next moment you don't. You know, it's like, and there are extremes. With the temperance card, there's extremes. It's like one minute I know what I want and the next minute I don't. So there's a lot of wishy-washiness. I feel like you know you could have somebody coming in really, really quick to deliver you some news about a love and it may make you feel unstable. There's some sort of unstable situation here, whatever this is, it feels like there's some kind of dream that is dying and you may receive word in regards to a situation about a partner that makes you feel uneasy. You're going to receive some difficult information that doesn't make you happy with that Three of Cups reverse that's buried under there. But Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, in reverse. So I think there is definitely some conflicts here. You probably have several options in love. What are you going to do? You know, you have several opportunities. Like I said, like that card said, you have the world in front of you. 
you know, the world is your oyster. I think you have several options in the love arena, but I think that you're emotionally unavailable. I don't know. This is somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Could be because of this person or it could be because of anybody. Somebody could have used you financially. It could be any reason. It could that either way, there's a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion. Now, this Queen of Pentacles could be any sign, but I think there's somebody is unavailable emotionally because of another person. And it feels though now you're probably just trying to restore control and free yourself from whoever this person is that is you're still holding on to in some way. Because you are. You're start trying to remove yourself from this situation that is no longer where you want to be. Thing is, is I think with the extremes, I think that some you're going you're very wishy washy about it. And you're really stuck because I feel like you're holding on to it even though you don't want to hold on to it. That's weird. It is. You guys are resisting letting go when you need to let go. And I'm not sure why. Or you shouldn't be letting go and you're trying to let go. The hangman reversed. Okay, somebody is making some sacrifices that are unnecessary. And I think you're being called to take the step next step. Have faith and trust in this situation. Stop playing. Stop juggling. Make a decision. What do you want? I think there's an opportunity for a relationship with somebody. And you may feel like, you know... You're still carrying the past. This card says live in the now. This says this is somebody who needs to live in the now. This is also the three of wands reversed is also a rebound relationship. So maybe somebody got into a relationship with somebody else as they were on the rebound. Whether it's you or somebody else. And now the time, now time has been wasted. They wasted their time. Somebody has wasted their time here. And I think there's a decision that needs to be made. Do you now? There's there is a decision. There's a lot of wishy washiness back and forth. What do I? You know, one minute I want this person, the next minute I don't. I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. You're juggling, and it's time to stop and make a choice and take the next step and live in the now and don't keep holding on to the past. There's an opportunity to restore the balance in a relationship. There is. But it looks like somebody is not choosing to do so. There's a lot of heartache and somebody is emotionally unavailable. Unable to offer romance elsewhere because of the past. <laughs> because of the past. Son of a bitch. I love you guys. So I think there is somebody, I mean, this is the past. Somebody is reminiscing about the past, they're thinking about the past, they're holding on to the past. There's been a lot of heartache, there's been a lot of suffering. The suffering has brought growth. And now they're, un, they're emotionally unavailable to start a relationship with anybody else because of this past. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. So I feel like it's this was a test. You were tested. You were being tested through this process. Your love was being tested. And I feel like you may have gotten distracted by a situation or by another person. Or the person you're dealing with may have been distracted by another person. But somebody is acting immaturely here. And they have a... Problem with starting over. I think that you could be receiving some unwelcome news in regards to someone from your past. Unwelcome news, someone from your past could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn again. We have, we have them all. It could be any sign. 
you may be receiving some unwelcome news that somebody has moved on because they're living in the now. But that's what you want, right, Pisces? You want them to move on, right? Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask with the Seven of Swords. And it's causing a lot of depression, anxiety, and guilt. And they're thinking about going back. Somebody is thinking about going back to a situation that broke their heart. Going back. To a situation that broke their heart. This is the, I don't want to say the sign, but it's a pentacles. But anyway, I feel like somebody is thinking about going back to a situation that broke their heart. And they're really, really losing sleep over this decision, whatever it is. I don't know who this is for. I wish we could change this story. Unable to move forward. Unable to move forward. But there's no communication, there's no cooperation, there's, there's no togetherness here because someone is keeping secrets and not being... Anyway, somebody's wearing a mask with a seven of swords and the high priestess reversed. Somebody is not telling them how they really feel. I think that you love someone, but you're looking for something better. And you can't fight. You can't fight it. Unable to move forward. It's so... I mean, with the chariot reversed and the death reversed and oh, the seven of swords, somebody is unable to move forward. So they're probably trying to bury their real true feelings in their work. You could have been dealing with somebody who was cheating with this Seven of Swords. Maybe it was you. I don't know. Some There's a, there's a cheating. There, there could be some cheating here that, you know. Or somebody, you know, somebody is not telling the truth with these two cards. And this could be somebody. And this is, this is Pisces. So somebody, you may not, you may be lying to yourself. Lying to yourself. Are you? Because you don't like conflict, you don't like chaos, you don't want to communicate about the difficult stuff. There's a lack of renewal here, a lack of a fertility, a lack of new growth elsewhere. Nothing is growing elsewhere. Somebody's being unrealistic. Trying to avoid a disaster that is unreal, okay? Trying to avoid something, more hurt perhaps because there's hurt here. So they've closed themselves off. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Aries. I think that at this time you are focusing only on yourself, your job, your money, your home, your finances. I feel as though you could you're going through some sort of awakening, you could receive some communication that hurts. I feel like someone is trying to control and manipulate the truth. Either way, the truth is going to come out in regards to a situation. 
I believe that this month you will probably receive something, some communication from someone that hopefully allows you to regain what's been lost. Regain the structure to get yourself back on track. There's no closure in a situation. Somebody is feeling empty because closure is still needed. That's what that means. Somebody need something is incomplete. The, the lesson hasn't been learned yet. So I feel like this is a month where you may continue or somebody, this is King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in reversed. Somebody is withdrawn, lacking communication, feeling cold hearted, not willing to open up and take the lead to get things back on track. Somebody needs to stand up and, and be the man or be the, be the head of the household, be the, be the leader here, take the lead. Somebody needs to take the lead to bring closure to a situation. And I feel like right now there is, things are just... Everybody's withdrawn. Somebody is not talking, not communicating, feeling like they're a victim, feeling like I can't, overly emotional. Whatever's happening here, I think there's going something is going to happen that is heartbreaking and leaves you feeling detached and only wanting to focus on yourself, your job, and your money. And I do apologize for that. But what's happening really is that you guys will regain structure in the end. You will. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what's being said to you. But you need to listen with a loving heart. Open your heart, Pisces. You're holding on to something. That is. Totally breaking your heart for some reason. You know, you're holding on to something, unable to move forward. This is a karmic lesson which you're refusing to learn. And I'm sorry to be the ones to tell you this. I don't want conflicts. This is what this is. No, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather remove myself from the situation than deal with any kind of conflicts. It's like I don't want to deal with conflicts. I don't want to talk about conflicts. I don't want to communicate about conflicts. If it's not all dreamy, then I'm out of here. So I feel like what's happened here is that there's something that needs to be dealt with. You need to realize the the truth of a situation, the truth is going to come out and probably ask you to let go of whatever it is that you're holding on to. Or do something about it. Because there's so much wishy-washiness here. What does your heart want, Pisces? What does your heart want? Are you trying, because with the Five of Swords, somebody's trying to prove themselves. Do you, are you trying to teach somebody a lesson? Are you trying to prove yourself? Or do you just want to be happy? What will make your heart happy? It's not about proving yourself. It's about happiness. Have faith. Listen to your inner guide. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Your inner guide. This is what this is. This is also a sign of Taurus. 
Are you listening to your inner guide? Are you listening to your heart? Or are you ignoring it? Because you got to prove yourself. You could lose. Big time. Talk to you later.